actually went Zangief uh, and didn't end up. Yeah, so you see Puko. Puko throwing up the jacket. What is, the belt is off. I hope it stops there. Puko sitting down, putting on a little show for Flash Metroid. Puko, I believe Flash said one seven to four, but when How Flash went to- Ultra I, two? Yeah, Ultra two. Yeah. Uh, but, but when Flash went to his Viper, he ended up taking it, I think he said five to one. Wow, Puko just unloading with the level three right wow, out of the gates. Zero respect. No respect. Zero respect. Puko says, get ready to be uh, on. He's going to uh, try to posterize him, man. There we go. You're going on Project Runway. This is going to look so stylish. Here we have him coming in, playing it slow after that initial focus attack. He's taking a little more measured approach. Wow, oh, I, uppercut. I can't. Zangief has so much trouble. Oh, it's a terrible the, matchup. Yeah. It still is. Despite the, the loss of the big jump fierce, it's still very yeah, bad. The, the jump fierce made it just completely ridiculous. Right. And even without that, it's still pretty bad. Wow. Nice read. Good range. Gets a little extra range from Puko. Oh, and there's Puko. No, making, oh, he just had. Oh, oh but he okay. still gets the pile driver. Puko making one of his crazy reads. Did not pay off that time. There you go. Flash and there Metroid. There it is. Flash Metroid. And, and now Puko's that's. taking off more clothing. I don't like that. Oh, wow. wow change he, out of his the pockets. change could not be in his pocket. He lost the round because of that change. He's got the chargers in his pocket. Who knows what else he's got in his pocket. He needs to find a little bit more in his pocket because uh, he did not really get it done that first round, and he's not looking so good here. We don't see any of those trademark mix-ups and dropping one there. And Flash, Flash standing up, kind of uh, you know, showing Puko that he was not blocking low. Puko, I, li I yeah. like the low shorts there. Can't block low and try to jump away at the same time. Zangief has to land to so many of those. Oh, even from across screen. Oh, risky. Wow. Puko paying the price for uh, tandeming in Zangief. Oh, oh there it is. Go, no. Oh, my God. Wow. That what almost did he do? It was a backdash, I guess. Here's and the it thing, looked though. Like it, it was a backdash. That will only work if you're point, point, blank. Yes. If you're at all far away, it's not going to work out. I thought he might have caught him jumping, and that is going to be it. For round two. Flash Metroid with his palm in his hand. Puk he's feeling all right, and Puko has answered back after uh, putting on quite a show for the crowd in that in round one and then getting blown up, frankly, by Flash. He gets to start mix-ups now, and his mix-ups actually do work pretty well against Zangief. Wow, I, I love that's, that's, that he's that's trying to get free. to that range. Yeah. Zangief has really no answer whatsoever. Right, he's I mean just going to get sucked in. Yeah, right. It's a way to force your opponent to get to whatever range you want. Only Seth has that ability to literally force his opponent into whatever Will you burn you the EX here? Yes, he does. He pulls him in after that EX uppercut to continue the combo. And that is just demoralizing. It's not huge damage, but it's just so many hits. He gets the mix-up, goes low. And he's worrying about stun on this mix-up right here. And that could be... Oh, I thought that was it. Oh, no. That's got to be... Out. Bells. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, not yeah, even. We don't even get to see it. Boomco. Go. I, I'm glad that he's switching. I hope it's to Viper. I think that's got to be where he's going. As yes. I was saying, he, he did lose against Punko in, the, in casuals when it was Zangief. When it was Viper, he won. So we'll see there whether that goes. stays. There it goes. a strange opener then. You would imagine he would have tried to use that knowledge. To, certainly not unfamiliar with Viper. Viper's not exactly his B-team character. Right. I know he's been playing a little more Zangief here in Arcade Edition, but gotta love his Viper. That's really what he named, made his name for uh, in the Street Fighter 4 era. And he's already in there, and now Puko must face mix-ups with no meter, and there goes low into throw. Yeah, and I, I really like I really like Viper in this matchup. She deals so much sun and damage. Exactly and there it like is. That. that could be a perfect Boom. fight out of the gates, and the crowd is well, loving it. Don't get our Flash should not get too excited because he started off the first game uh, with a with a w win in the first round, and Puko adapted. Let's see if that happens here. It's true, and Puko off the solid beginning here, but. Again, Puko with this crazy uppercuts, really with Viper, he's one of the most dangerous characters in the game to be going for uh, uppercuts. And of course, the strong uppercut, which he needs to do, even more exposed. But this one is all Puko so far. Both of these characters really not great on defense. So strong on offense. Match point, Puko. Again, this is winner's bracket. You will be seeing both of these guys again, no matter what happens, but Puko on match point. Peter starting off with a perfect. Oh, good challenge out of the air. I don't like that from Puko. It was way too high. Flash has yeah, his again. Got to watch out. There's Puko right now. Oh, oh and turn this around. is going to be big. Huge turnaround. Will he go for ultra here? No, he's going to no. go for hop kicks. He go for ultra. Oh, he got the mix up. Watch out for stun. Next Should one. Okay, so far. Oh wow, he caught him with the grab. Oh, I. 
split time. There it is, and that is going to be it with the Ultra 2. Later, and that is Punko. Advancing, and that is, I believe, in the top eight. Punko that is, is heading into top winners. Eight. He's in there. And I got to say, shout outs to Korea because Punko, playing my own character, Seth, is in my face. Neither one of us were huge believers in Punko nope, saying, we this guy hits too many buttons. I never argue with his skills. I think he's got the skills to beat anybody in the world. And a uh, dream matchup that many people were hoping for was Daigo versus Punko. We're uh, very close to seeing that. Those are Could our two happen. winners qualifiers so far.